Ah yes, NFTs, everyone's favorite new technology next to virtual reality. In 2021, we saw plenty of different NFT projects hit the news with differing opinions on this newfound internet technology. But what is an NFT? How can you yourself screenshot these valuable JPEGs? And what were some of the best and worst examples from the year of the NFT? Let me explain. So what is an NFT? Well, NFT stands for nobody f thinks because nobody thinks when they are deciding to purchase a JPEG image when you could get the same thing for free. No, I'm just kidding. It stands for non-fungible token, which basically allows you to prove that you have purchased a specific image or digital asset. This transaction lives on the blockchain and is the only verifiable proof that you are in fact the owner of this item. Now that was a very brief overview, but it helps to understand at least the basics so we can move forward. Now I want to talk about one of the first uses of an NFT back in 2021, and how it sort of set the precedent for things to come. When I show you this image, who do you assume made it? A child learning to draw? A kid in daycare drawing their imaginary pet friend? No. Neither of these is the correct answer. The actual answer is a 46 year old man. That's right folks, this is Witty Weasel, and this particular drawing is being sold for $160,000. Now this particular one is this much money because of the background. But don't you worry, I will be coming back to this just to show how egregious this collection is. This NFT collection is called V Friends, and in my words, is a collection of crudely and hastily drawn characters scanned with different rarity leveled backgrounds randomized for the illusion of individuality. Or, as they would like to call it, a NFT project around meaningful intellectual property and an extraordinary community. Alright, I guess that works too. Now, I would like to clarify that the ideas behind this NFT project are actually interesting. Each NFT is an admission to VCon, which is a convention where you can meet people like Charlie D'Amelio and FaZe Banks. Oh, yay. But here is my problem with this collection. At the very least, with Board Ape Yacht Club, the apes are created by an actual artist. Whereas for V Friends, it's literally just Gary V drawing something a five year old could draw. You know what? That gives me a great idea. I'm going down to my local daycare and asking each child to draw me their favorite animal. Then I'm going to come back and steal their drawings and make a boatload of money. Wish me luck! Okay, I uh, now have a restraining order. Not only is it an admission to VCon, though, but a select few of V friends have access to FaceTimes with Gary, Breakfast with Gary, Bowling with Gary, War Crimes with Gary. You know, all the usual. Okay, that last one may not be real, but you get the gist. Um, but I also enjoy the two hour bowling session we will have in New York City at one of the two or three cool bowling places that we'll figure that part out. Uh, we will go, we will bowl. What's good about bowling? Each NFT also comes with a video of its creation. And I sh you not, this is the video. It also comes with your average, mommy, look what I did, photo to go along with your purchase. Again, I don't hate this project, but the entire success of this NFT relies on two things. Gary's commitment to those special NFTs that are few and far between, and the end result of VCon 2022 and beyond. Because if it's not good, then people will sell their V friends faster than Gary can ask if you're making content. And the value of these things will be, in my opinion, close to zero. Five minutes isn't a long time. And so I'm worried about a lot of things on this token. I'm being, you know. 
because keep in mind, these NFTs expire. As in, you can only go to VCon 2022, 23, and 24. Now, yes, these are three years, but in the meantime, all you have to show for it is this thing. I mean, is this the first thing that comes to mind when you think of meaningful intellectual property? I mean, I guess the whole premise is about connecting with Gary Vee, and I know his community is about positivity, but I just can't get over these drawings. Let's use another NFT called Doodles as an example. If you look at their website, each doodle is randomly assigned a body, background, face, hair, head, and piercing, totaling of 256 different possible traits for your doodle, totaling 10,000 completely unique NFTs. VFriends, on the other hand, launched with 268 drawings, with each drawing being used 40 separate times. The only difference is the background. Strip away VCon, and you have yourself a glorified daycare drawing. And what's crazy is the floor price, floor price being the very lowest cost you can buy now for a VFriend, is 12 Ethereum. That is almost $30,000. Now, I thought VFriends was a good example of what you shouldn't be purchasing on the NFT marketplace, but as of making this video, the Nelk Boys decided it is their turn to enter the NFT space with the Meta Card. And there are a few things I'd like to go over with this NFT that just don't seem right. First of all, they announced it one day before it was released. At the time of recording this, when you check out their different channels on the Discord, they are mostly empty. This NFT comes only a week after they spoke with Gary V on their podcast, which they talked a lot about NFTs. What the f*** is an NFT? And I'm dumb, sorry, my bad, what is an NFT? Literally in the video that Kyle, a Nelk founder, made while they were selling out, he says, Alright, who's f***ing ready now? We gotta get to work. Like, the whole premise of this card is cardholders will have the opportunity for future Nelk drops, meetups, events, etc. The cards aren't even unique, and they minted for 0.75 Ethereum, which is ridiculous in NFT minting terms. Minting means the original sale of the item, essentially, FYI. It is so clear that this NFT product was just a cash grab right now for the Nelk Boys, and it seemed to work as they grossed $23 million. You heard that right. I think the NFT is so cool because to me it's like our fans give us money, right? So we have the money, and now we have all this money, you know? So it's like they're giving us money, we get the And you're taking that money. Yeah, a ton of money, like, which is pretty cool, I think, right? Their website has no mention of a roadmap. And the only mention of anything is vague statements with no concrete time frame whatsoever. On their website, the first utility of the meta card is acting as a mint pass. And the description of it is, holders will get first access to many other NFT projects. So basically, if you own this NFT, then it gives you the opportunity to purchase other NFTs. I think that a lot of MetaCard holders will understand just how bad of an investment this was, as currently they are barely being sold for more than they were minted. If this project turns out to be worth the price paid, and they make actual interesting perks of holding this card, then you can come back to this video and say that I was wrong. But this to me is just a sad attempt to cash in on the growing interest of NFTs. They basically just made one animation, multiplied it by 10,000, sold it for thousands of dollars, and then said to us, it's not worth anything right now, but it will be when we decide exactly what we want to do with these cards. Look, I can get behind projects that have real value, but to me, projects that require a specific person or people's time are either bound to fail or very difficult to pull off logistically. If anyone can do it, it would be Gary V. But it is yet to be seen if VCon will be a success or not. I would like to say that I don't want to take such a cynical approach to NFTs, 
but I do want to call out those who will be using this tech maliciously or just incompetently. The title of this video I do believe to be true, as NFTs are not the present, but have so much potential to be the future. Twitter now has a feature that allows you to use the NFTs that you own as your profile picture, integrating proof of purchase. Companies like Meta slash Facebook will for sure be integrating this tech for their platforms, but it is yet to be seen just how. Guys, all this NFT research has got me itching to make my own. So here you guys are, announcing the Not Cool Ape Club with five different one-of-one one NFTs that will be minting for 10 Ethereum each. What will they do? Well, each NFT will give you access to a five-minute FaceTime with yours truly, where I will shame you for making such a terrible purchase. I'm super excited to announce the roadmap for this NFT, but, like, uh, it's not ready yet, so just trust me that it's coming. 